for Hack for Congress, we wanted to bring in um, non-technologists. This is why we call it the Not Just for Technologists Hackathon. There's all kinds of people joining this event. Some of them are students at the Kennedy School. Many people came in from places like DC and New York. A lot of people are from the technology sector, but a lot have worked in Congress or, or come mainly from the world of politics. Bringing together people who are not typically in the room together, people focused on the political side and on the technology side, try to come up with creative solutions, is I think our best bet at trying to get some traction on these very deep issues that have to do with representative democracy and the way that citizens behave and function in part of our system. So I'm very hopeful that the energy and the expertise in this room today can bring about some change. I've always been very interested in kind of figuring out how we can innovate the way democracy works, bring citizens more into the process, and being able to be around, you know, amazing minds who are from different worlds, who look at the problem from many different perspectives, can really add new dimensions that we never have thought about on my own accord. The beautiful thing about this hackathon is that we're not only coming together to think about how we need to change our democratic institutions, but we rather come together to do it and build the tools needed for that. I think what many societies don't lack is ideas and people with wisdom about how systems should change. I think what hackathons do is it brings these people together and has, has them on an action-oriented slant. Figuring out how to actually design an application, design a way of doing something that would revolutionize a particular part of government and putting our minds around not just an idea of how to do things, but actually how to put it into practice, how to implement it in our given societies, I think is the value of a hackathon. So far, walking around and talking to the different teams, the ideas are uh, incredibly interesting and promising. We have people working on uh, how citizens can get more information, how legislators, how members of Congress and senators can understand all of the information from their constituents that's coming in, how they can make sense of what people are really care about, how much of it is astroturfing and basically spamming the legislature versus people really taking the time to sit down for a couple of hours and try to communicate with their congressperson. So we have all kinds of ideas that are emerging and they're really exciting. I think that uh, um, you know, hopefully a couple great ideas will come out of this weekend which will actually, you know, in a few months or uh, maybe even a few weeks develop tools that will actually have some traction in Congress. But the longer term picture is to create many opportunities for all kinds of Americans from all walks of life to actively contribute to this project of improving American democracy.